Good morning, ESM. My name's Casey. And now for your top stories with Olivia. The sun has started producing sunstorms again, threatening life on Earth. A few days ago, millions of tons of gas shot off the sun's surface and headed towards Earth. While there wasn't much damage, it is a reminder that the sun has woken up from its hypothetical slumber. Sunstorms have caused problems with radio waves and airline radiation in the past, so this is something to keep an eye on over the next few years. The last time there was a sunstorm was 17 years ago. These next waves of storms will peak in 2025. 80 female students at Bartram Trail High School in St. Johns County, Florida had their yearbook photos altered without their permission. Exposed shoulders and necklines were deemed inappropriate by school officials and were covered. Officials of the school district said yearbook photos must follow dress code guidelines, and 80 photos were deemed inappropriate. The school yearbook coordinator, a female teacher, made the decision. Students most commonly use terms like embarrassed, ashamed, and sexualized when describing how they felt about the modifications made to their photos. The school has said they will refund the cost of the yearbook to parents who complain about the issue. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Senior students, if you've received an invitation to attend the Golden Tassel Breakfast and have not responded yet, please respond to La Ms. Lanfear in the main office right away. The breakfast is this Wednesday, the 26th, and we need to count, have counts for the breakfast by today. Congratulations to Grace Scalfaro and Zachary Seaburn, who have been named Merit Scholars in the 66th Annual National Merit Scholarship Program. More than 1.5 million U.S. high school students took part in, this, in the Qualifier Preliminary SATs and National Merit Scholarship Qualification Test. The top scoring students were named in semifinals and only 16,000 went to be named finalists. Both Zach and Grace for now have been named Merit Scholarships and are among just 2,500 recipients of the National Scholarship of $2,500. Whew, that's a long one, but we should have some time to congratulate them. And let's see what it is outside with Grayson. Today, on Monday, we will have a high of 78 and a low of 59 degrees. Today, we'll have some sun clouds with warm weather. And tonight, we'll have more clouds and be a little more breezy. Tuesday, we'll have a high of 85 and a low of 67 degrees. Tuesday will be warmer, but it's going to be breezy with some scattered rain showers. Wednesday will be a lot similar to Tuesday with a high of 86 and a low of 50, 53 degrees. Wednesday is going to be breezy once again, and we'll still have some scattered showers, but there will be more, there, there's a higher chance of storms, mainly during the afternoon. And with that, I'm Grayson with your weather. The softball team lost to Central Square on Saturday. The wrestling team lost to JD and CBA on Friday. The baseball team lost to JD on Friday and Saturday. The boys tennis team beat Cortland and Fulton on Friday. The boys and girls lacrosse teams both beat Cortland on Saturday. The boys won 20 to 4 and the girls won 18 to 4. Phil Mickelson won the 130 annual PGA Championship as he shot 6 under par for the tournament. At 50 years old, he became the oldest player to ever win a major championship. An action-packed weekend saw eight games in the first round of the NBA playoffs played. Among the highlights, Bucks defeated the Heat in Game 1 on a Chris Middleton game winner. The Nets defeated the Celtics at home. Trey Young scored at the last minute to put the Hawks over the Knicks. And Dylan Brooks led the Memphis Grizzlies to a shocking upset over the top-seeded Jazz in the West. In upcoming games, varsity, the varsity baseball team has a game at Oswego at 4.30. Varsity softball has a game at home versus Central Square at 5.00. Boys Varsity Tennis has a match against J.D. at 5.15, and the boys and girls track teams have a scrimmage against Baldwinsville at 5. And I'm Tanner with your sports.
Well, that covers everything from us today. So from me, Grayson, and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a good day.